Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we're going to talk about the erase command and the types of selecting object. So first, the erase command is located in our modify panel. So this is the erase command. Or we can type in our command line the word erase. Or you can also type the letter E for erase. So the erase command, it is used to remove or delete object from the drawing. So let's say we have we have an object here. And then let's say we will and then let's say we want to delete this line here. So we select the erase command. And then we select the object. It says here select the object. Then press enter. Another way to delete an object in our drawing is by using the delete key in our keyboard. So again, when you are going to use the delete key in our keyboard, we first select the object we want to delete. Unlike if we are going to use the erase command, we select first the erase command. So if we are going to use the delete key in our keyboard, we first select the object and then we press the delete key in our keyboard. Another way is to use the function key plus the delete key. If example the delete key is not working, we can use the function key plus the delete key. Select the object and then click and hold the Fn key plus delete. Okay. If example we press the delete key and the object is not deleting we can check our pick purse value right now it is one so if the delete key is not working we can change this to zero when the pick purse value is one the pick purse is on so this will assume that the item we selected is the one we want to process. If we are going to use the erase command, so let's say we want to delete this, and then we select the erase command, and then select object, like this. So what if we use the erase command, but we first select the object, and then use the erase command. So as you can see, nothing happened. It is because we changed the value of our pick purse. If we check our pick purse, the value is zero, meaning the pick purse is turned off. So we have to change the value to one to turn it on. So that when we are going to select the item, we can use the erase command. Because again, the uh, pick purse will assume that the item you selected is the one you want to process. Okay, so that is the function of the pick purse. Next, we have types of object selection. So we have window selection. Number two, we have crossing window selection. Number three, implied window selection. Four, select all. Five, fence or line selection. Six, window polygon selection. Seven, similar selection. Eight, we have select previous object. Nine, we have select last created object. And ten, we have remove selection object. So we'll do first the window selection. So example, 
we want to delete the number 5 and 4 we select the delete or the erase key and then select object we're going to press w enter and specify the first corner so we'll begin here okay so as you can see object that are inside the window frame will be selected so this, this is how the window selection object that are inside the window frame will be selected and then press enter to delete I will undo okay so next select and then W for window selection enter and then let's say I want to select 758 so I will begin here and I will show to it that the 758 will be inside the window frame so that they will be selected so this is how the window selection works number two we have the crossing window selection so I will type select to select object enter and then I will type C for the the uh, crossing window selection and then here in the crossing window selection everything that the window frame will touch will be selected not necessarily inside the window frame but the window frame will touch the object that object will be selected so next we have implied window selection so this implied window selection is the combination of the window select and the crossing window select so if i will go in to select by starting making a window from left to the right this will activate the window selection wherein all the objects that are inside the window frame will be selected if I will go in to make a window starting from right going to the left it will activate the crossing window selection wherein everything that the window frame will touch will be selected okay so this is the combination of the window selection and the crossing window selection the implied window selection number four we have the select all so the select all this will select everything inside the the, the workspace example i will type select and then select object i will type all everything will be selected number five we have pens or line selection so let's say i want to select seven five and four i will use the pens or line selection so i will type select enter and then when it says select object i will type f for friends enter then i will now make a line to the object that i want to select start here and then from here then enter so the seven by four are now selected using the defense or line selection again I will select the 7 pipe and letter A using the defense or line selection I will type select enter and then select object I will type F for prints then I will make a line to the object that I want to select then enter okay 
So this is the fence or line selection. Next we have the window polygon selection. So in the window polygon selection, let's say I want to select, I will be making a polygon selection. Okay, so example, I will type select to select object and then I will type WP for window polygon, enter, and then now I will make a window polygon. Let's say I want to select this one. Enter. Again, select. Enter. Then, window polygon. WP. Enter. Then, I will make a window polygon to the object that I want to select. So let's say this one. So enter. So this is how window polygon selection. Next, number seven, we have the similar selection. So the similar selection. Let's say I want to select all the circle in the drawing. So I will select the circle, right click, and then sim select similar. So as you can see, all the circle are selected. If I will select this and then right click. I will choose select similar. Okay. All of the similar object will be selected. You can also type in the command select similar. Enter. And then we have setting. Here in the setting, we can choose how we can select similar object. We can select by color, by layer, by line type line type scale, line weight, plot, object style, and by name. So, we are going to use the similar selection. Let's type first. Select, similar, enter, and We'll go to the setting and here we are going to use the select by layer okay so we'll uncheck this and we we'll leave the by layer okay so now we want to select all the block that is in the layer block okay so we'll select this one block and then right click select similar okay so as you can see everything that is under the layer block are selected so this is how to select by layer okay so we'll try another select similar setting and we're going to use the line type okay let's Uncheck the layer and we'll check the line type. So enter. And now we'll select a line. And then, okay, again, we'll select a line. And then right click. Select similar. So every line are selected. So let's go back. And then so next we have the select previous object so let's say we select this and then we select the similar select similar okay and then we create a new object we want 
to select the previous object we selected so let's type select enter so enter and then we type p for previous enter and as you can see the rectangle are selected because this is the last object we selected next we have select last created object so i will type select and then i will type l so as you can see this object is selected because this is the list the last object we created and then last we have remove selected object so example we make a window selection and then we want to to deselect this so we just press and hold the shift key and then select the object we want to deselect shift key and select the object we want to deselect so these are the different types of object selection that we can use so don't forget to subscribe to my channel and please click the notification bell to receive the latest video on this channel. Thank you for watching and I'll see you on my next video.